What we gon' do? We gon' keep it moving, right? What we gon' do? We gon' keep it moving, right? What we gon' do? We gon' keep it moving, right? What we gon' do? We gon' keep it moving, right? Lyft's mission is to improve people's lives through the world's best transportation. In these cars, you have drivers and passengers, and every day they create new stories. We were really inspired to create a narrative that celebrated all those stories and brought them to life in an entertaining way. It was important for us to pick a character that everyone could relate to, but also that you want to root for. So June is an older woman. She lives in the south side of Chicago. She settled into what looks like a lonely routine, but through driving for Lyft, she learns how to start sharing her life and really starts to build a community around her. I didn't want to tell something that was like overtly like sugar-coated and commercialized and how great is everything. I felt like it had to have some truth to it. It was important for us, and, and again, really trying to connect with the driver's stories and what their real reality is. Uh, to have those behavioral moments, like getting your first rider. What does that feel like? Getting into the wrong car on accident. You know, idiosyncrasies of ride sharing, if you will, that add a layer of truth. So when we started showing the story to other drivers and to people internally at Lyft, I, I think they really responded very viscerally to like, this story feels real, there's a lot of great details in there that feel right. Just being able to channel the truth of that into this short, is very satisfying for me because I think it resonates with people and people get it. What we gonna do? We gonna keep it moving, right? What we gonna do? We gonna keep it moving, right? What Being able to work with Sir the Baptist on the music for the film was incredible. Sir was also a Lyft driver, so more than anyone, he understands the power of community and you can really feel it come through within the lyrics and the vibe of that song. Having the opportunity to drive Lyft also expanded my my, my brain and mind for things that I wouldn't see. Because most kids don't make it off the block. Yet alone if you're driving for Lyft, you're exposed to this whole city. You gotta go places where you've never been before to pick up someone you never met before. And all of a sudden, you get to trade the, the gems and the, the pieces that really matter to you know a person. So it, it becomes this sort of trade of culture in some sort of way that's really dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the style of June could be best described as a moving illustration. I see very much that it looks almost like a live action short. It can be flat and it can be stylized, but it can also be dimensional and it can live in these kind of in-between places. The first thing we did was we took a research trip to Chicago. I'd never been to Chicago and I was just really surprised by the, the depth to the city. There's just so much history and so much variety there and really informed our initial thoughts about how to depict everything visually. There's just these, these images that stick in your head. I remember this really specific feeling when we were driving up Lakeshore Drive and what that felt like with the breeze from the lake coming across. We had the windows rolled down. Your brain starts latching onto these certain things and you start trying to think of how you can recreate that. I think that makes for a healthy story to do your research and to dig for those details because it gives it that authority so that you believe it as an audience. In the beginning, we do some more straight lines and stuff, and then as June is introduced to the community, we start doing these more vibrant and exciting kind of compositions. We try to be really conscious of that as we're designing it, how it fits in with the story. Once she starts driving, when the music comes in and things really get going, there's a lot of just kinetic action and a kaleidoscopic kind of explosive quality of color and movement and spinning wheels. In the film, you'll see this effect we use that mimics the idea of a kaleidoscope. If you break apart a kaleidoscope, it's a bunch of different pieces. But when put together and spun around, they create this beautiful mosaic that represents kind of what it feels like to be part of this bigger lift community. Every day, you have a chance to open yourself up to make some sort of new connection. And June's life improved when she chose to open herself up to the community. If there was one way to describe this film, it's this thought that life is truly better when you share the ride. <laughs>